The very long high school sports season just wrapped up last weekend, but a few of the players already getting ahead of the curve for the next school year, the next season. NBC5's Eric Kerr shares how girls soccer players in northern New York are getting in early reps on the pitch. Before things kick off again this fall, young athletes are putting in the off-season work. This is getting me ready for the season and knowing what I have to do and like think about all my shots and like my passes and just control everything. SUNY Plattsburgh hosting an annual high school girls summer soccer league. It's a tradition picked up by the college's head coach Whitney Freire who is running it for the first time. I think that it's a, a really great opportunity for the, the young girls of the, of the kind of region to be able to come to Plattsburgh, be able to play on the turf under the lights. Even as a college coach at the NCAA Division III level, she's impressed with the skill sets that the players and coaches from 10 local schools bring to the pitch. It's really cool to see the competitive ri rivalries, the great soccer, to see the talent, the work ethic, everything that comes with just, you know, the pride of each of these high schools. <laughs> The league, which combines varsity and JV athletes, is meant to establish chemistry on the field. We get to know each other better and grow as a team more. While offering two months of games, giving plenty of time to knock off the rust before the high school season begins. It means a lot. Preseason usually isn't that long, so the more you can play throughout the summer, especially helping to get in shape, the more you can do is the better. Games will be played on the field in Cardinal Country on weekdays until the end of July with a postseason tournament to wrap it up. In Plattsburgh, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News.